Why Chile's draft constitution looks like wishlist conservatives in USA Chilean citizen picks up. A copy of proposed new constitution outside presidential palace in Santiago ahead Sunday's referendum. Chileans will vote Sunday on a proposed constitution that contains echoes of U.S. conservatism. Right to religious objection. The right to homeschool. Language that could be interpreted as implying personhood of fetuses. The document. Largely members of Chile's right-wing Republican Party is in many respects more conservative than the 1980 dictator's Hippera constitution it aims to replace. And its connection to current trends in U.S. conservatism is not accidental. One its key architects comes from an influential group of conservative Catholic legal thinkers at the University Notre Dame. This constitution brings together most conservative agendas of the right wing in United States said Francisco Cox, one of Chile's leading human rights lawyers. He compared the Charter's conscientious objection protection to case in which the U.S. Supreme Court sided with Colorado Baker who refused to make wedding cake for gay couple. Parallels between movements in two countries highlight broad reach and growing global influence of religious conservatives in United States and U.S. Supreme Court. Sunday's referendum comes just year after Chileans rejected a radically different constitution. Constitution that is considered one of the most progressive in the world. With broad rights for women, indigenous communities, nature and even animals. The effort to amend constitution. First the authoritarian regime of General Augusto Pinochet began as a negotiated solution to mass protests against widespread inequality in country. The majority of Chileans supported this idea. But last year's 388-article document, prepared by a leftist-dominated elected parliament backed by leftist president Gabriel Boric, faced criticism that it was long, too left-leaning and radical, especially in terms of structural changes to the constitution the political and judicial system of the country. So Chile tried again this year, this time with an elected constitutional assembly dominated by the country's ferrite Republican Party. Critics say the resulting document does little to address inequalities. Polls once again show Chileans will reject it. Discussions around protection of religious freedoms and educational freedoms. The right to life and understanding whether we are dealing with a human being regarding unborn child. To the Chilean Constitution. One Notre Dame law professor he admires is Nicole Stell Garnett, who has frequently argued in favor of publicly funded religious charter schools. Barrera also served as a judicial extern alongside Judge Thomas L. Kirsch too who was nominated by then-President Donald Trump to fill Barrett's seat on the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals. But speaking to the Washington Post, he talked about Supreme Court case that encompasses what he calls